34-year-old college professor living in Ghana, uh, Shakir, who does not have uh, a great bandwidth, someone who has an older computer, not a lot of bandwidth, probably a Pentium 4 or something like that, um, uh, usually likes waking up at 10, 15 a.m. Um, <laughs> I think that was a requirement. Um, so yeah, that's that was that set the stage for yeah. for our idea, and really so what we came up with was that the person was based on an email that Forrest got um, from someone who who wanted to use uh, their content, but uh, didn't really have the bandwidth for like the large videos. Yeah, it was, or or maybe even the audio. It was like it wasn't clear, but the person really wanted text transcripts mm -hmm. from the from the um, from the lectures, and and Forrest has been doing. Uh, text with the uh, with the material that he puts up, so he had transcripts and was able to send these. And we were thinking, well, that was a good start, but what could you do to really um, enrich this experience and make it something where you know, depending on whether, whether someone was just using a phone or something small, some small device that they had, or an older computer, how could you how could you make that experience better for them? Um, and we thought up the idea of some kind of HTML5 app that would give a person a spectrum of options. Um, and so what they would be able to do is say sort of, okay, I'm, I'm in a low bandwidth situation, I just want the text, or I want the text and I want it wrapped in sort of a, a little self-contained package that will run on a browser that has comments and kind of a nice presentation in, in it too. And then if they, if they ratcheted that up, maybe images or slides would be added, like time-aligned slides, so they'd be able to press play, they could read along, they could hear the audio, they could see some slides, and up from there, there would be video involved. So just sort of having this little, like even just a slider or something where you can download an app, or just download the, the plain text if, if that's sort of where, where your connection limits you to, mm -hmm. um, or where your technology limits you yeah. to. So that was our... Yeah, idea. and so I think part of the idea was you'd have the ability to synchronize the transcript with the um, video and or audio, um, as well as with hopefully like comments or annotations, and then you could choose, like depending on your bandwidth, you could choose which of these channels you wanted to download, so you could get like just text synchronized with comments, or you could get like the text synchronized with the audio with comments. Um, but then that would also potentially allow for people to also contribute translations um, or localizations of the transcripts. You could also potentially pick among like different languages if you wanted a translation. Um, so I guess just the the ability to um, have a more like a uh, take like one piece of content and make it as widely accessible as possible by being able to um, you know select among all these different formats. And the thing to remember is that there's always plain text available because you would need a modern browser, Firefox, whatever, to be able to run one of these applications. So there's, you know, it may not be appropriate for everyone, but trying to reach as big an audience as possible.